Hello there. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever, whatever applies to you. I'm Mr. Smith and I am Armio High School's short-term independent study teacher. And I'm sending you this video because we did not have the chance to meet before you left for independent study. Or I'm trying to just give supplemental information that can help make your experience as easy as it can possibly be. Our goal at this, as the school is to make sure that you get all of the attendance credit that you're uh, entitled to while you're away. And also, it's our job, the teachers, to support you to be sure that you're doing the work that your teachers assign while you're away. So basically, short-term independent study is a contract between you and Armio High School that states that even though you're not here on campus, as long as you're doing the work that your teachers assign you, you'll get full attendance credit for the entirety of your, of your time away. In order to get that attendance credit though, it's your job to be doing the work that your teachers assign. So if you haven't had the chance to discuss that with your teachers before you left, it's your job to be checking Google Classroom. It's your job to be checking Google Classroom every day that you're away and to be doing the assignments that your teachers assign as if you were here on campus. Now the good news is you have the entire time that you're away Per your contract to do all of the work that was assigned to you. So those due dates on Google Classroom don't apply to you so long as by the day that you get back all of your work is turned in. For any work that you complete on a physical piece of paper, so if you're, if you're assigned to do textbook problems and you write the answers on a piece of paper, that work will be turned into the attendance office the day you get back. And what's more is that it has to be turned in before school starts the day you get back. It cannot just trickle in casually later that day or later throughout that week because per the law, sorry, per the law, we have to be able to prove that the work was done the day you got back. So because you're going to do a phenomenal job, you're going to hit the ball out of the park. It's not going to be an issue. When you return, you'll turn that work in either on paper or on Google Classroom and you will get 100% of those attendance days that you requested. When, when you check, when the, your attendance record is checked, there will be no difference. It'll look like you were here the whole time. But let's just say something happens and you're only able to get 75% of the work finished, then you'd receive 75% of the days. So if you requested 10 days of independent study, but you only did 70% of the work, you'd receive seven days of, in, of attendance credit and those remaining three days would become unexcused absences. So that helps with your attendance and it also helps with your grades to make sure that you're staying on top of your, the, the concepts and curriculum that your classes are covering while you're away. Uh, and, so you're, and also you're turning in those assignments so that your grades don't take a hit. You can be away doing whatever it is you're doing and come back and feel confident and ready to continue with your classes. So that's the general overview. If you have any other questions or anything's not making sense, please reach out to me. You can send me an email at jacobs at fsusd.org. And keep in mind that I'm the independent study teacher. So while you're away, you can use me as a, an ally, as a resource, because I can go to your teachers, I can collect information for you, and I can generally just help you to make sure that your experience is positive and effective. So safe travels. Enjoy your time away or whatever it is you, whatever the nature of your, your, your time away will be. Uh, take really good care. As always, get good rest, drink lots of clean water, and we'll be, we'll be here to support you along the way.